Okay. Blow it out your bum hole. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rags with This is Corbin. Hi, Corbin. Hi, how are you? I'm well. Good. And you can follow us on Instagram. Instagram. And Twitter. Twitter. From all juicy content. Juicy so content juicy. is on the way. Juicy content is here today. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, today, you just, you just saw a full-blown Broadway musical, didn't you? Yep, admit it. What? Today, we are reacting to a video. React to this. It's called <coughs> The Last Jews of Calcutta. One more time. The Last Jews yeah. of Calcutta. That's what I thought you said. Unique stories from India. I want to read this for me. The history of the Jews in India reaches back to ancient times. Judaism was one of the first foreign religions to arrive in India and recorded history. Indian Jews are a religious minority of India, but unlike many parts of the world, have historically lived in India without any insistence of anti-Semitism from the local majority populace, the Hindus. However, Jews were persecuted by the Portuguese during their control of Goa. Their population rapidly declined due to their emigration to Israel. Yeah, so this is interesting. Very interesting. Uh, you're Jewish. You've been I to am. Calcutta. I have been to Calcutta. So you can relate on two fronts. And yes, before you understand, there's a differentiation between people who are Jewish by blood and Jewish by faith, because it happens to be that Jew, Judaism and being Jewish is a religious belief system, the, the Jewish religion. Mm -hmm. But then there are also people who today are basically called Israeli, that at the time, there wasn't a differentiation between the Jews being a belief and the Jews being a race. So like genetically, you check my DNA with ancestry, it shows you Jewish as a people group. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people here get really confused by that, mm -hmm. that you could say you were Jewish, but you're also a Christian. You're mm -hmm. Jewish, but you're Hindu. They're like, yeah. say what? Yeah, so there you have it. Little 101 information about Judaism. Thank you, you're welcome. Here we go. It might not be London as some claim, but the architecture of Kolkata is a big part <laughs> yeah. of its charm. And not many know that some of Kolkata's major landmarks were built not by the British, but by Jews. Didn't know that. The Jewish community in Calcutta still owns three synagogues, three schools, and the cemetery in Narkindanga. Jews go anywhere for trade. So the Jews who came to Kolkata, the first Jew to come to Calcutta, that was Shalom Obadiya Kohen, came for trade. They moved between Bombay, Colombo, Calcutta, uh, Rangoon, Singapore, Singapore, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Shanghai, and all the way down to Jakarta. Small merchant ships that went up and down doing trade in timber, in, in animals, in birds, in uh, plants. At its largest, which was during the Second World War, we were between five and six thousand. <laughs> About twenty-two to twenty-three of us. Seriously? Immediately after the Second World War, there were three things that happened. One was the places, colonies like Australia and Canada opened their doors to immigration. Then you had Indian independence. And the year after that, you had the establishment of the State of Israel. Right. Business people and landowners and things like that were afraid that they might their properties, their businesses might be nationalized and they might not get uh, satisfactory compensation for that. They sold out and left. Some of them gave up very good jobs here to go and live in um, basically in tents in Israel in the early years. Jews at this time lived in the area that is bounded by the synagogues, the masjid, uh, go barracks and uh, the police station. There was China Para, the Jewish area, Parsis and Armenians. This was what the, what the British called the gray area. Black area was Indian, white was European, and the middle people were gray. 
came to a point when one Jewish girl was nearly baptized. You forget that this British time of proselytizing was big. The insular Jewish society built their own schools, opened their own clubs, and kept their social mingling strictly kosher. And in the 1940s, when the country burned, they were left untouched. In 1946, I went to New Delhi. That was like today going to the moon. For a girl, a Jewish girl, what do you want to go to Delhi of all places? So far away, 1,000 miles away. Took me two and a half days to get to Delhi. I saw everything. I saw the bloodshed, I saw the partition, I saw the famine of Bengal, and uh, for me it was very impressionable. Because it was impressionable age. I saw Great Calcutta killing here when Gandhiji came to try to stop it. It was something... I'll never forget this scene. There was a pregnant woman, heavily pregnant, and she was on the road and there was a mob around her and the man had a knife to her stomach and he was just about to kill her. I ran out and I tried to save her, me and my brother. And they, we, were so, we, we were so naive because we knew that they would not touch us. We were not one bit frightened because it was, they told us, I'd never forget what I saw and I often wonder what happened to that woman. Fla Silliman lives with a daughter, Ye, in a house that's almost like a museum of Jewish artifacts. Given the state of their numbers, Yale decided to create a digital archive of the Jews of Kolkata. Capital is in my blood. So when I retired prematurely, I made a direct beeline to get back to Calcutta and love being here. Yale Silliman is a fourth generation Calcutta Jew who unlike her peers decided to come back. But for the rest, Kolkata was just another stopover on the journey. So what happens to the Jewish heritage after them? We have just set up, about six months ago, a controlling trust, which will be like a holding company for all our institutions. And I was in the States a month ago trying to find a, possibly an organization there that might be interested in supervising what goes on in Calcutta. So we are also looking towards the communities that still exist in Singapore and Hong Kong, which are much closer to us. We are also looking to, towards them to see whether they might be interested in and capable of supervising what would be happening here. And that's the tragic truth. The last remnants of Jews on Calcutta's soil will be looked after by those sitting in foreign lands. From the time of the Romans to the Babylonians to the Greeks to the Germans to everybody has done something against the Jews, but not the Indians. Indians can hold a India can hold a head high and proud to say that we were never, never oh. discriminated against. And not only that, Jews have had big positions. General Jacob sure. became the governor of two states. General Jacob it was the army general. He was a Jew. DJ Cohen was a judge in the High Court. One thing that living in India gives you is a strong sense of possibly fatalism. The Bengali has an expression for it. Uh, if it is our fate to be the last flicker of the Jewish family in Calcutta, that's it. It happens everywhere. There are many synagogues have been destroyed and damaged. At least here, ours are still standing in spite of the ASI. Largely that it is the city's loss because the city is losing its cosmopolitan edge. But beyond that, as far as we are concerned, Silavi. Yes, it is the city's loss. A city that became home to its guests from Baghdad now holds on to the remains of the last Jews of Kolkata. So what, 23 they said? 25? Yeah. Something like that? That's a pretty elite core of uh, <laughs> that haven't discriminated against the Jews. Mm -hmm. yeah, here's what? India and India. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, there's probably not a more, I, I, I mean, there's lots of people that have been discriminated against for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. But the Jews have a long history. Pretty much everywhere they've ever gone. Yeah. Um, I, I can think just off the top of my head, and I may be completely incorrect because I could be ignorant to the history of the Jews, for example, um, uh, and uh, that are in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, um, Australia started with criminals, though. So exactly. Probably, probably, yeah. They yeah. probably faced discrimination there. Uh, in some in some way, but yeah, that is one of the beautiful things, and I I it would be a loss to. Um, you didn't any know about place. this? No. No, no because... But, I, I, about the history of the... No, and I think that's because the... It's because they're, they're such a small contingent. And I don't know where in Calcutta this is located. Because it's... Calcutta's quite large. Mm -hmm. So, um... There's... There's... If there's only 23 Jews in Calcutta, what do they say? Only two or three synagogues? Mm -hmm. Uh... It's, it's... And it... You know... It, it would be. Any... Any place that would lose... Um, uh, something like this is losing a piece of global history, history and culture mm -hmm. uh, to a certain extent uh, that no one's there to actually teach and show it to them and be made aware of uh, in the same way that there's so little exposure that we have to a lot of things mm -hmm. you know so yeah yeah and that just my dad <laughs> asked he said I hear it pronounced Calcutta and Kolkata Kolkata yeah um, so which one I, is it? Well, it depends on who you talk to, because uh, it's my understanding that the uh, and I, I have it from reputable sources that uh, it was like M M Bombay became Mumbai, uh -huh. Calcutta became Kolkata. Uh, it was anglicized by the Brits in order to become, I guess, I don't know, <laughs> Mumbai, Bombay. I don't know why you would need to make the change. Same thing with Calcutta to Kolkata. Uh, I, I personally, I don't mind that spelling. I'm actually fond of it because it's what I was introduced to, but I've always, I always knew of Calcutta and knew of Calcutta as C-A-L. So my natural inclination is to pronounce it as Calcutta. That's Indrani's natural inclination is to call it Calcutta, mm. but don't have a problem with people calling it Kolkata. Uh, many people do that are there and that's what they've known it as is Kolkata, but don't have a problem with people saying Calcutta.